All right, guys, welcome back to some more Black Hat Python. In this one, we're going to be creating a sniffer. We're getting into a whole different category of exploit writing, or should I say <laughs> Black Hat tool creation here on this series. Now we're jumping into the <clears throat> sniffing side, the network side of the house. So this is some basic code here. We're going to keep building upon this and building upon this. This is just the first of many layers we're going to add to this to really make it fully functional. So the code here, pretty simple, not too much going on really. And if you see the red squigglies here, we're running this on, or we're viewing this on Linux. I'm going to run this on my Windows box, but uh, this IOCTL thing, I think there's something with this that... Uh, is not playing well with Linux. Now, this is for Windows only. That's why we're saying if os.name is NT, so if it's a Windows box, we're gonna run this. Otherwise, we're just gonna uh, run it the way that uh, Linux would require it. So let's just step through the code here one at a time. We only need a couple of modules for this. We only need the socket and OS modules. Now, this host here, I would change this to the IP address of the machine that I'm running on. And pretty much everything's going to be in the main function. So simple enough there. So in the main function, we're going to check if it's a Windows box. If it is, then we're going to define a socket protocol variable and set up uh, IP proto IP. These are just some basic uh, socket module stuff here to, to just create the, uh, to, to sniff for packets, right? To set up the IP protocols, and I, I also sniff for ICMP packets. That's what we're going to do in this case. So on Windows, this is how it expects it if we're going to look for IP packets, ICMP, right? Else, uh, if it's a Linux box, it's going to expect this. So that is why we have this if else statement here to handle both running this on Windows and running this on Linux. Next, we're going to define a sniffer variable. And that's just, you've probably seen this many times before if you've been watching the series. It's just going to set up the uh, TCP uh, connection here. And we're actually going to bind the sniffer to the host. And the zero here, we're going to listen on all ports. So we want to sniff promiscuously, right? We want to be able to sniff any, any, uh, any port, uh, the packet for any port. So that's why we have the zero there. And we set some socket options here. Uh, as as defined here and basically with with this is uh these are once again things that you can just kind of write down put them in your notes so that uh you can reference them at any time but essentially with the socket option it's just going to include the ip headers in our captured packets so you can grab the headers and then after that, we're going to determine if we're you know, using Windows or Linux once again here. And uh, if we are, then we're going to use this IOCTL. Basically, what this is doing, this call, this uh, receive all on, we're basically going to turn on promiscuous mode on the network card driver. So this is something we're going to need to do on like when we run this on Windows, because we need to be in promiscuous mode so we can have access to sniffing any packet, right? And then we're just going to print off what we captured here earlier. And uh, also, once again, if it is a Linux box, or sorry, if it is a Windows box, we're going to then turn this back off. So basically, all this code is doing is it's just going to sniff one packet. Not too useful as we have it now, but as you'll see in the coming videos, when we build on this code, we're actually going to make it into something that is useful. Uh, I'll be demoing this code here in a second, but basically, as we have it written right now, it's only going to print off simply the entire raw packet with no packet decoding. Now, in the next video in the series, we are going to actually be creating a decoder to decode this uh, hexadecimal this garbled uh, output that we're about to see. So we can actually make sense of it, can actually do cool stuff with it. But for right now, we just need to get something bare bones working, and then we can just build upon that. So I'm going to go ahead and run this from my Windows box here. Now, if you see, I already have the code here. I edited the host parameter for my Windows IP address, 
And let's just run the sniffer. And so this is on my host machine, so a lot of things are happening right now. If I was running this on a VM where nothing else was going on, I could send a ping request to like any website like nostargepress.com and it would grab that packet. Basically, the first ICMP packet is being grabbed, and as you see here, it's all this crazy output going on here that we're going to be decoding and processing when we build out further tools to really enhance this thing. But uh, yeah, it did do as we intended it to do. Basically, it sniffed the first packet it could find based off of everything we had here, and it just printed off the raw byte code that it found. And so that's pretty much all there is to this script. Let me know if there's any questions down in the comment section below, of course, as we move forward here, we get into more interesting things. It's pretty cool. We're moving forward. We're learning a lot of Python and interesting networking concepts along the way. It's always interesting to see how you actually interface with this stuff. It gives you a newfound understanding of how networking works and, and all that. It's pretty useful to, to at least know this stuff for certain. And uh, yeah, if you guys have been enjoying this so far, hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, help get the message out there. And I will see you guys in the next video on the screen. If you want to get into more of these black hat Python videos, perhaps you just skipping around a little bit, which is totally cool. Uh, but you can check out, um, catch up on whatever you need to catch up on. I'll see you guys right over in those videos though. Thanks for watching.